What is up Raider Nation? It's your boy Simone Raider back at it again with another video and today on The Breakdown we're going to be going over the GOAT Nathan Peterman's play versus the Green Bay Packers. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show and get ready for The Breakdown. Break it down. This is the first play that I don't want to go over. It's nothing big, not that big of a deal but i want to show you guys why nathan peterman is the goat and i'm not exaggerating right here as you guys can see nathan peterman is right here bang bang and he's looking over at rico gafford and rico gafford over there confused he's like bruh what are you doing and nathan peterman told him to block this is going to be a good little pick play for pierce Chanel to get close to the first down he didn't get it but it was a good attempt let's go in slow motion he's over there telling them enrico gaffer's like bruh what the fuck you what the fuck you say and then keelan Doss over here the boss he's probably like y'all motherfuckers complain too much this is exactly why we're not starting right now and look at this look at this turn and look look at look at keelan Doss look over at rico gaffer he's like hey boss shut the fuck up let's just play nathan peterman hikes the ball looks over and it's a quick little pick play to pearsonell pearsonell grabs it and as you guys can see right here Rico Gafford, if he was to block that any better, this would have easily been a first down. But you know, Rico Gafford was a bit salty. That's why he didn't really block his dude. He was like, hey, go get that motherfucker. And look it, bam. Short of first down, but Pearson L doesn't know that. He got hit in the head and he's like, first down boss. What? It just shows the leadership that Nathan Peterman has on this offense, letting people know where to go. And get a quick pass off just to get the first down. I don't know why Pierce Nell ran backwards, but you know, that's besides the point. Okay, so here's another play. Maybe my favorite play of the game, man, Raider Nation. I am so excited about this team, man, especially with Nathan Peterman being the backup. So this play is gonna be a beautiful pass to Keelan Doss and it's gonna be that toe tap swag. Okay, there's three things that I wanna highlight in this play. First, Tyler Romero. As you guys know, he started in last week's episode of Hard Knocks where he got fucked up in the joint practice with the Rams. He's gonna do an excellent job blocking number 56 and blocking the GOAT's blind side. So I want you guys to look out for that. Another thing is the great awareness from the GOAT, Nathan Peterman, looking through his reads. He looks over to Pearson L and he's like, oh shit, he ain't there. Then he looks over to Keelan Boss and he's like, oh shit, it's over. So let's play it one time for you guys and you guys can see this beautiful, beautiful Keelan Doss toe tap swag. Uh, he looks over and he looks up and like, oh shit. Hey, that shit was super clean. That was a that was a catch catch. All right, let's let's break it down in slow motion. So the first person I want you to look over is to the star of last week's show, Tyler Romero, Mr. One Punch Man. As you guys can see, the ball's hiked. Number 56 comes off the edge and great sidestepping right here. He's sidestepping like he's trying to sidestep into your DMs. And he sees him, does an excellent job blocking number 56, and he's like, motherfucking, you ain't gonna get this. I'm trying to make this team. So you guys can see Nathan Peterman, back foot, planted, ready to launch the cannon to Keelan Boss. Perfect throw up in the air. Keelan Boss looking up, and he said, oh shit, it's fun to go down. He hit that aggressive catch button, got it with the one, to special let's get it let's, let's rewind that real quick because that was pretty clean in itself I, let me highlight number 41 right here because he over here like oh shit i got this thing on lockdown call me the dmv because i'm handing out l's and then he looking back he's like oh fuck because he already knew he fucked up they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they once keelan doss catches the ball number 41 is like oh shit i ain't want none of that smoke boss go ahead tap that shit in man i love this play i want to play it one more time because look at the goat stepping back in the pocket i can't forget to show some love to tyler romeo over here on the blind side no michael Orr, but with the blind side protection nathan peterman looking back foot is set ready for liftoff and 41 is like fuck it i'm done great play great throw and great catch by this offense and now the next play i want to highlight is the touchdown to pierman pearson freaking l whatever l i'm gonna call him l for short because that motherfucker got a long ass name so we're gonna look at tyler romero again he fucks up because he slips back but he does a great job trying to come back and get a great block so let's do it look at he got he got put on his knees he got put on his knee though he's like bro oh fuck but he does a great job getting him right back up trying to go and get the block but can can, can i say look at nathan peterman with this great pass to Pearson Beer Pierre 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 Pier
fuck L. But let's play this play again. As you guys can see, Tyler Romero is gonna fall on his knees and pray to God and say, give me the strength to get back up. And he gets back up and tries to make another play on 56. And this is gonna be a great drop back. Great drop back by Nathan Peterman. He goes through his reads. He's looking at the tight end. Tight end ain't there. He looks to the middle to Keelan Dawes. He's like, fuck it, I'm going for the touchdown. So he looks down to L and he throws it up in the air. Perfect play, touchdown pass. And he's like looking up, he's like, Jesus Christ. We love you, God. Thank you for the play. Okay, the last play that I want to go over is this fourth and seven play by the GOAT Nathan Peterman. And man, it was a beautiful play. And I am really excited for how this thing's going to be. But you know, Nathan Peterman, let's just watch this play. And I, I'm going to just stop yapping. I'm going to just play the play. And you guys can watch it. And I'll break it down for y'all. Ahoy! Looks over. Ooh, nice ball to Keon Hatcher. And Keon Hatcher almost fucks up our chances at coming back. But Rico Gafford is there. And he saves the day. So let's go right back to this play and see what we see here today. Now he says hike because quarterbacks say hike. And it's great protection. As you guys can see, the offensive line is doing a great job keeping Nathan Peterman clean. Nathan Peterman looks. And look, he's going through all his progressions. Look at how many times his head turns. His head turns like one, two, three, four, five. I ain't, I ain't gonna keep count. As you guys can see, we got L through the middle, but he ain't gonna fuck with him because he said, hey, that ain't gonna be a first down. And man, right before he throws the ball, look at that back foot. It's planted real well, like he's planting a tree. I am Groot. But he steps back, throws it, a perfect ball to a wide open Keon Hatcher. And Keon Hatcher over here, he's like, oh shit, I'm about to make a play. He over here trying to up his rankings right now, trying to make a juke juke. And he runs and doesn't know that number 44 over here about to fuck up our chances real quick. Pops the ball out of the hand. Oh, well, not a 44. Oh, shit. I should have looked. Number 54 over here, he hits the ball out of Keon Hatcher's hands. Oh, fuck, 34. I can't even see these numbers, motherfucker. So. Hits the ball out of his hands, and we almost fuck up our chances at coming back. And Rico Gaffers is right there to save the day like Superman. Oh, wait, fuck, fuck DC, never mind. Like Spider Man coming in to save the day. And we get the ball. And this play right here was a great play by John Gruden in the offense and Nathan Peterman's execution to throw the ball because this set us up for the game winning field goal, and the Raiders win. So, Raider Nation, that's all I have for you guys today. What do you guys think about this breakdown with the Samoa Raider? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then smash that like button. And if this is the first time you guys are watching this video and you guys are not already subscribed to this channel, then please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this one. Without further ado, this is your boy Samoa Raider and your boy is yeah.